so you made the decision to evacuate. Yeah. On, on your own. Yeah. You made the decision to evacuate. Yeah. You said that it was a feeling that you got based on what you had just been watching over the last just hour yeah. from Hamas, hour from, this last, yeah. from Gaza. Yeah. The question is, how does an evacuation work? How, what, what, is, what are the processes that lead to that? It's, it's a very, very uncomfortable process. It's to say to you, take care of yourself. You are in a, a bad, bad situation. Maybe your home will attack in a few minutes. Get out with your suitcase without knowing where are you going. This is the situation. But logistically, is it buses? Is it people in their cars? Yeah. How do you get them they out? They took their, their kids, get some stuff of their clothes to the suitcase, and get out for their families, friends, whatever they want to get out for the few hours when the start of the war. After they saw what happened in the Gaza Strip, what the Holocaust, the Hamas made us, they decided where to sleep. They know that they are self with their own family outing from their villages on the border. As, as a follow-up, you mentioned that you didn't worry about what the government said, which, you know, we would look at in the United States as the federal government. People might think, okay, you didn't ask permission of the Knesset. Did anybody say to you, why did you evacuate them? Or did they say, good job? No, they say, all of them say to me, Moshe, good job, good idea, good thinking. You are brave, brave and we, we are very glad that you made it. All of them. But they don't... Um, let the, those people that spend money, they don't get them back the money. What is it like to live three miles from the border of Lebanon, three miles from Hezbollah? To live in, in the uh, conflict zone, it's uh, incredible to suppress what, what is to live here. But we are living in the most beautiful area with the green avocado, with a lot of uh, tourism, this is, the, this is the conflict between to live in a very, very beautiful place, but to know there is a very, very dangerous enemy above you, near you, and you, know, you don't know where you will attack you, where you, where you will start to throw rockets to your home. And most of the children that grow, grow to quiet zones for the last 10 years. But now everybody knows that the most dangerous place is to live here. But to you it's worth it? Yeah.